It is safe to say that La Palma was absolutely rocking last night. As you can see on your screen, multiple 5.0 earthquakes, one of which just took place about five minutes ago. Well, guess what, my friends? It is official that La Palma, right now as we speak, is in the worst eruption in over 500 years. You are looking at the eight eruptions of this volcano going all the way back to 1470. Over 500 years, this is the worst. And how about this? Multiple 5.0 earthquakes quakes taking place leading up to this massive eruption that is still going on right now. There's two of those and this one was downgraded from a 5.0 to a 4.5. Gee, I wonder why. That makes three 5.0 earthquakes in just over one day, which is the most La Palma has seen since the beginning of this eruption, which is now the worst eruption La Palma has ever seen. Wrap your heads around that one. We're going to break this all down as well as some other stuff going on around the world and we're doing it right here, right now. Let's go. Alright my friends, already a crazy situation going on. It is November 30th, last day of hurricane season. We'll talk about that. It is 10, 19 a.m. Something I gotta point out right away, and some of you may already notice, not only have they taken away that third most recent 5.0 earthquake that was downgraded to a 4.5, and as I'm reporting on it, it disappears off Volcano Discovery completely, and then 10 minutes later we get a 4.3 in a whole different area off the southern coast of La Palma, and as I start reporting on that, they then take that one away. And now I want to show you this in real time. We have the setting set for the last two days. We have it set for 5.0 and plus. So obviously right off the bat, our 5.0 from yesterday and our 5.0 from 30 hours ago both pop up. These are two of the three. The third one popped up originally right here as a 5.0 downgraded to a 4.5. That was removed and then a 4.3 popped up a little bit later on and that was removed. And I can prove that by going ahead and hitting the 4.0 earthquakes. Over the last two days, we have many, many earthquakes taking place, hundreds in fact right now today, within the three to four range at the actual mouth of the volcano. But what do we not see? Even if we go down to 3.0s, there are no earthquakes down here. So something has been adjusted and in a different way than they usually do. Usually when an earthquake is downgraded, it stays there. A lot of you have been asking some of the websites I use to verify these earthquakes and one that sticks out that's really, really useful and very detailed is this one right here you're looking at. It is IGN.ES. I will leave this in the description box, but you can look over here on the left and just take a look at this. These are hundreds of earthquakes that have taken place not only just today, but these stretch all the way down through the 27th, and there's even an index where you can go back even farther. For those of you that have alerts set up through Volcano Discovery, you probably just got an alert reminding you that La Palma Volcano activity remains intense after the announcement and realization of this uptick in earthquake. Now keep in mind, this update you're looking at right here with the stats was put out before this flow of earthquakes, but even before so, take a look at this part. Earthquakes hit La Palma again overnight. They would only highlight this if it was significant. And as of right now, seems to be the reason we're seeing this giant uptick in eruption. I am also going to leave the link here for the Wikipedia page to La Palma. One of the big debates that went on earlier in the eruption was how it would compare to past eruptions. Now, we know of eight of them, and I should go ahead and correct myself. They officially announced that this eruption is way more intense than the 1585 eruption near El Paso. And I have to do a little more verification to find out exactly what went on between 1470 and 1492 as it looks like that may have been a just over 20 year eruption. So maybe a little bigger than the one we're dealing with now, but nonetheless, biggest eruption at La Palma in 500 years. As you all know, I will not let any details go by about La Palma without you guys knowing, but we're gonna move on to our second topic today. And I just wanna touch base with you because it seems like the hurricane season just shut off over a month ago, but today, November 30th, is the official last day of the Atlantic hurricane season. You're looking at a tweet put out by SpaghettiModels.com, a very popular website website. We use it here all the time on the channel run by a guy named Mike. Awesome guy, awesome content, but he says it best right here. Sorry, we're closed, but you know me in my mind, we're still going to get three hurricanes before next year. Now, keep in mind, my friends, this season wasn't a total bust. As far as storm chasers and watchers go, we did get through our full 21 name list, which is becoming more and more common with hurricane season. So the overall average is going up. Not only that, but our focused area between the middle of August and the beginning of October was a very 
very, very peak time for us. And then out of nowhere, as if a switch was flipped, it was over. Until November, where we got Tropical Storm Wanda, which lingered for a while. And then again, the switch was off. And now we are here at November 30th, saying goodbye to the 2021 Atlantic season. And technically, even though I don't agree with it, we did not have one Category 5 this season. Hurricane Sam definitely hit Category 5 wind speeds. You can see 155 right there, even though 157 is that number. I believe Sam hit that, but we'll see what happens next year if they adjust it like they did with Hurricane Michael a few years back. My friends, I apologize for not having all the cool visuals for today, but there was important data we needed to look at and things that happened in real time that I needed to adjust to that were more important than what I originally started posting about. So with that said, we are updated. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. It is snowing here in Northeast. Pennsylvania. Wonderful. Gotta love it. Shout out to Canada. Any questions or concerns, please leave down below and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.